What is up with their mailbox? Why does it look like that? There's literally just a hole in their mailbox and the door is just kind of floating. Hey guys, it's me, Emily, and welcome back to another video. I am starting a brand new series, um, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm doing a university series. I made a sim, I want to say like three months ago, maybe even longer than that. Um, her name was Edith, I think. Um, and I said she was going to be my university series sim, uh, but I actually decided that I wanted to use more than one sim and I wanted to uh, keep them all at home and do a bunch of different careers or career branches or whatever. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I have four sims, um, some of which are going to be getting makeovers very soon. I actually made these uh, sims like two weeks ago maybe um and i was kind of just like taking their styles and everything and just kind of rolling with it but it was also like three in the morning so like i didn't spend that much time on them but uh two of which are probably going to be getting makeovers very very soon uh, and i mean within either this episode or the next episode um so yeah, this is our first sim, um, Kian Huff is his name, um, he is going to be a bodybuilder, I just changed his outfit on accident, <laughs> um, he's going to be like our, uh, physical therapist, like, trainer, that type of vibe or whatever. So I gave him the bodybuilder aspiration with the side uh, trait of high metabolism. Um, and I gave his, or his traits are active, self-assured, and bro. And let me find my remote. Found it. Let's turn this up. Here is his voice. Can't really hear him that well. Ooh, <laughs> so yeah, that's his voice. And then this is his walk right here. I usually give my Sims all different walks. That way, not only does it dif or differentiate them a little bit, but whenever they're elders, then they don't get that like hunchback walk. Um, so you know. That makes me feel a lot better because I hate that so much. But yeah, this is his everyday outfit and then his second everyday outfit. They're very similar, but I wanted to just kind of give him a little bit of a change. That way he's not wearing the same thing all the time. Um, here is his formal outfit, which I love. <laughs> his athletic outfit, his sleep outfit, his party outfit, which kind of is like Damien-esque, I don't know, uh, from Island Living, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> they kind of have the same vibe, which I don't hate. Um, his swimwear, his hot weather wear, very similar to his athletic wear, and then his formal wear, or cold weather wear. I don't know why I said formal wear. I'm like losing my mind today. And this is our second sim, Jamie Morgan. She is going to be our scientist um, slash like veg vegetarian. Oh my gosh, I am not having a good speech day. Um, she's going to be like our main sim, honestly. Um, 
she's going to be our scientist, our gardener, and our veterinarian because I thought that veterinarian uh, isn't really a career so I kind of thought that would be like her side hobby because she's an animal lover. Um, so she can do or run a vet on the side and then do her scientist career full time. Um, and then she is a uh, green, green fiend so she's going to be doing some plants and stuff, doing her research on them and everything, which, you know, um, I really, really love her. Like, I really do. I don't know why, but she kind of gives me, like, I don't know, she reminds me of myself in a way, which, you know, so if literally, if she had, like, that color hair and it was, like, if I can find it. And it was like, what style am I looking for? Like this, then she would literally be me. Like that is me. Um, maybe if she put on some pounds, but you know, we're just not gonna comment on that. <laughs> but yeah, I love her so much. She is probably one of my favorites out of all of them. I love all of them, I really do, but she holds a special place in my heart, and I'm not sure why, but she, I just love her a lot. But anyway, she, her aspiration is friend of the animals, um, and her side tree is animal affection. Uh, she, it gets a lot higher relationships with the animals, like, faster or whatever. Um, she's good, a green fiend, and ambitious. And then these are her outfits. I love this outfit so much. Like, I would wear that. I love it. And this outfit. Oh, her formal wear is literally goals. Like, I love it so much. Her athletic wear which is adorable. I love all of her outfits so much. Her sleepwear. I'm gonna change her shoes. I feel like she would wear bunny slippers. Like, those. I feel like she would die for those. <laughs> um, why'd it go to her formal wear? What in the world? <laughs> her party wear, which, once again, I love it. <laughs> her swimwear. Her formal wear, or why do I keep saying formal wear? Her hot weather wear <laughs> and her cold weather wear. And then this is our third sim, Astrid Griffith. Um, she is going to be our artist, uh, which I'm very, very excited for. I was kind of vibing like um, she would be into her painting and her sketches on, like, a tablet or, like, writing. I feel like she would be really into that, too. Um, like, the candle making station. I feel like she would just be into those types of things. Like, I take Jamie as being, like, sitting at her robotic station, just, like, working on her robots, you know, and everything like that, and repairing objects and hanging out with animals, and I see Astrid as, like, painting and sketching and writing and making candles and making just like I don't know I don't know what kind of vibe she gives me like if you could mix together hippies and like I don't know goths I guess I feel like that's the vibe I get from her um maybe not even goths maybe just like edginess I guess <laughs> But her aspiration is the painter extraordinaire. She has the side trait of muser. Um, she has the traits art lover, bro, and maker. And then these are her outfits. I, I love her face. I think she has like such a like cutesy little face. I love it. <laughs> With her piercings. Adorable. This is her everyday outfit which she is the first sim that is going to be getting an or the second sim that is going to be getting a makeover very soon 
Um, I want to keep her outfits like very different than the rest of them and I also feel like she would change up her hair color and stuff a lot so I want to keep with that vibe too. So, and this is not what I see as her natural hair color. I see her natural hair color being like, I don't know, maybe like a dark brown? Yeah, probably like that. I don't see her as having black hair. Maybe even like a lighter brown like that, or a dark brown. I feel like that would be her natural hair color, but currently she has red hair. This is her second everyday outfit, which I love it so much. <laughs> and then this is her formal outfit, her athletic outfit, her sleep outfit, her party outfit. I love her shirt. <laughs> her uh, swimwear, her hot weather wear. I love the like laceness. Is that what it is? Like lace almost of the back of that shirt. I hate that you can't see it very much, but I don't like how her hair looks tied up with the hat. And I feel like the hat is kind of essential. So, you know. Her cold weather outfit. And that is it. I love her coat. I love like darker colors. And then I forgot to show you her voice. I don't know why, but like you can't hear them very well. Holy nine Krukova. Kind of gave her like a deeper voice. And then she has the same walk as Kian. A little swagger walk. Um, I forgot to show off Jamie's walk. I gave her a default walk. I'm not sure why, but like I always give them a certain walk style, but these don't really fit <laughs> her face. Oh my god, that's funny. I don't know why, but these don't really fit her personality, so I guess she's just gonna walk. And then her voice, I don't remember if I said, or if I, like, showed you guys her voice. That was really loud. I don't know why. <laughs> and then our final sim is Devin Holland. He is our gay sim, which I love. Well... Technically, we have two gay sims because Astrid is, I want to say pansexual would probably be ideal. Um, and then I see Devin as being gay and uh, Jamie and Kian are both straight. So, um, I like to define sexualities from the beginning of their young adulthood, usually, or like their teenhood, but obviously they're all young adults because university, you have to be a young adult. Um, but I see it, I see Devin and Astrid as being gay, so, yeah. Here's his voice. It's a baby oh. I don't know why I gave him such a deep, boi deep voice, I don't feel like that would be his voice at all. It's Jose. Skiba, you move. She'll be quiz him. Deroy Benarla. Maybe like that? I feel like that would be ideal but he has the normal walk as well, which I definitely feel like he would have this one, like for sure. He just gives me that vibe. Um, he wants to become a world famous celebrity. He is going to be our actor. Um, uh, and then I feel like he would do um, like photography and charisma would probably be his like, his jam, <laughs> especially photography. I feel like he would really be into that. Um, Cause at first I was like, maybe Astrid would be the photographer. But then after a while of just thinking, I feel like he would definitely be into it. I feel like he's probably the most like, I don't want to say conceited cause that makes him seem like a bad person. But I feel like he would just be like, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, <laughs> it's like on the tip of my tongue, or my tongue. 
I don't know what, but I feel like he would just love himself a lot. <laughs> So I feel like the selfie game would kind of be on point with that. But he wants to become a world-famous celebrity. That is his aspiration. His side trait is gregarious. And his traits are self-absorbed um, insider. He wants to join a club, which I already kind of have an idea of what I want to do for that. Um, and then he is a cat lover, which is definitely going to come into play with little Jamie's veterinarian career, um, which... I'm very excited for um because I feel like this would be the house that would have like a thousand animals and I love animals so much <laughs> um but yeah this is his everyday outfit and then his oops I just created a new one <laughs> his second everyday outfit kind of more like chill I guess um and then his formal wear I love it so much <laughs> his athletic wear his sleepwear, his party wear, I love his scarf, and then his swimwear, which is the same as Kian's. Don't know why that is. Um, let's just give him some new swim shorts because I feel like he would have those ones. <laughs> And then, oops, why does he keep changing to the formal wear? That's probably why I can't stop saying formal. And then his hot weather wear, which definitely is going to need uh, changed because it reminds me too much of Kian's um, everyday outfit. So I really want to change that shirt especially, but I'm going to hold off until the end of the episode. Um, and then his uh, cold weather wear. So yeah, those are our four new sims, and I am going to go ahead and jump on in. I actually started playing them off camera, and um, I made some new sims that I'm going to add into the world that some are specifically made for some of our little similar er, similarities. Um, so after this episode, I'm going to add them into the world. Um, they are love interest and like besties of, well, they are going to be the love interest and besties of our core four sims. Um, I'm also gonna set them into university as well. I'm gonna kind of say that they met them at university. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited. Like, very, very excited. Um, I started playing off camera and then... I decided last night that I wanted to do this challenge where it would take me like, or to see how long it would take me to kill off like Sims, because I feel like the Sims doesn't kill your Sims off enough. So I wanted to do that challenge. Then I overwrote this, or er, this gameplay for my off camera game. And I was really mad, <laughs> but I see it as being fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it into fall time. I don't know where I want them to move in because in my off-camera game, I had them in Windenburg in, hold on, I don't know why, but my game is very slow today. I had them in the Rustic Residence, um, but I'm not the biggest fan in that house, or of that house. I feel like it glitches out a lot. So I really don't know where I want them to live. I really want them to live in Windenburg, but like, I don't like any of the started or starter houses in Windenburg. I feel like they're just either not big enough or just not really my vibe, which means I either start a new house, which I really don't want to have to do, or I, mo or I move them in somewhere else. Hmm. I feel like all the towns kind of suit each and every character because, like, I feel like Brindleton Bay would obviously be where Jamie would live, the city would be where, uh, San Myshunu, rather, would be where, uh, Astrid would live, and then Del Sol Valley would be where little, um, Devin would live, and then I don't know where Kian would live, honestly, probably... I don't know, probably either Strangerville or Sulani, I would see that happening. I don't know where I want them to live. I 
I like the way that Willow Creek looks, but once again, I'm not the biggest fan of the starter homes. Oh, this is annoying. Also, I love that they added in, like, um, in the newer uh, towns, how, like, Sulani has uh, Mo Plum and all the other places. It has, like, the uh, little descriptions of all of them. I love that they added them in on, like, the new or the older towns, too, because they never had, like, the little descriptions of the town areas before in, like, Oasis Springs and, um, Mag- or why was I gonna say Magnolia Promenade? Is that a place? Like, I feel like there's someone- or somewhere named Magnolia Promenade. Unless I'm just making that up completely, which is also a possibility. I really want to live in Windenburg, you guys. But I don't like any of the starter houses. This is annoying. I guess I'll start them off in the rustic residence. I really don't like it here, but um, I want to save this little plot of land because I really like the scenery around it. I want to save that area for whenever they get a little older um, and they start getting their moon a. Um So I guess I'm going to move them in here. This is like, I don't know, I don't like the starter homes in this game <laughs> at all, which you know, isn't ideal, but you know, um, I'm going to start off by giving them some of their like hobbies stuff, um, cause that'll definitely help them get through university. Um, but I'm not going to do a full remodel cause like they do not have the money for that at all. Um, I feel like I'm going to have, uh, Kian and Astrid start doing some odd jobs pretty quickly, um, because it seems like whenever, or it seemed like whenever I played on off-camera games, they, um, lost money really fast, so I'm gonna have them do odd jobs, because on my off-camera game, I had to have them get part-time jobs, and the hours of the part-time jobs aren't, they don't, like, align very well with university, um, so I feel like odd jobs you can kind of just sign up to do one whenever you want, um, and whenever you have the time to do it, and then you'll just have it done within an hour or two, so, you know. Uh, one thing I have to do, though, is get rid of all this carpet, because I live in a house that only has carpet in my bedroom and my brother's bedroom, so carpet does not exist in my world. Um, I, you can pretty much rarely ever see me put carpet down, um, unless it's in like a toddler's room or whatever, but, um, see this is where I start to get real slow when I'm picking out wood. <laughs> Literally wood. I don't know, wait. I don't know how to change the um, direction of the wood. And that always annoys me because I would love, love to turn the wood in the opposite direction. But I do not know how. <laughs> it just, like, isn't a thing. Like, you just can't do it. <laughs> oh, I hear a bee. Or a fly. Why'd I say a bee? Um, place tile mode, place room mode. Rotate floor pattern, okay. But it's not doing it. <laughs> Why does it not do it? You know what? It's fine. Screw it. <laughs> and let's get some new tiles for the bathroom. Um, 
I don't know which tiles I like. Not those ones. I like those ones quite a lot, but they're kind of like gym floors more than anything. Like locker room floors, not like your bathroom floor or whatever. Those are kind of cute. Let's go with those. I, I like those. Actually, what's that real quick? I'm gonna go with these ones actually. I like those. And then the wallpaper. Um, honestly, I'm gonna say that it'll have to stay like that for now. Because I desperately need money in order to get their um, ho uh, stuff for their hobbies and everything. Let's just move that along a little bit. Change that to white. I don't know what is going on here, but I do not like it. I would like them to have a breakfast bar, but obviously that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, unless I do that. Hmm. I really don't know. Maybe like that even? I really don't know. These are really hard to do. Like, I don't know how they're supposed to work. I really don't, like, they make no sense to me. Like, what? Like that? No, because then the counter is facing the wrong way. I do not like these at all. <laughs> Guess they're just gonna have a counter because I do not like the way that the like little like bar, breakfast bar, whatever things sit. So I'm gonna get them some beds. Um, I'm gonna have Astrid and Jamie bunk together. I feel like they would be pretty close. And then Kian and Devin are very, very much polar opposites. I honestly feel like Devin would bunk with uh, Kian just because he would want to look at his abs, but you know. Um, just not gonna comment on that. Mm. I don't want to get them anything too expensive. I think I'm just gonna get them some like El Cheapo bits. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Let's go with some eco lifestyle bits. Um, a little black one for uh, Jamie, and a little white one for Astrid. And then a little pink one for Devin. And a little blue one for Kian. Okay, and then I need to get an easel, uh, which I think I'm gonna put that like in the living room probably. And that is going to be another way that we can get some quick money. So let's get a little easel. Let's get a blue one. There we go. And then let's get a robotic station for Jamie. that outside. Um, Devin needs a mirror for his charisma and acting. Let's get a missile mirror. Hmm. 
Honestly, if I had the choice of having that mirror, I would have it three years ago because that I love that mirror so much. It's brown though. I don't like that. That would be pink. Hmm. Um, and then a um, some type of workout thing for Kian. I want to save yoga mats for Astrid. Or Janie, honestly. Um, let's start off. Oh my god, treadmills are so freaking expensive. Jeez. Um, let's start with a little treadmill. I don't know where to put this. <laughs> That's like right in her way. I don't know where to put this. Um, I want them to like be able to socialize with each other. I'll move this over a little bit. Like that. And then put this in the corner. I want them to be able to talk at least uh, while they you know, or doing their, their own little thing. And then I'm gonna get them a TV, that way they have some way of getting their or their fun up. Kinda like this. Cause that, I'm pretty sure, is a bookshelf as well, which we are definitely gonna need. Um, especially for university. So let's get that in there. I haven't actually used anything like that before from the tiny, what's it called? The tiny house pack or whatever. Hmm. Actually, that one's cuter. Yeah, I like that one more. I'm like so picky. There we go. Oh, that's so small though. Oh my gosh, now I don't know. Wish that was like a bigger screen. I guess I'm sticking with this one. The other one's cuter. Just wish it was bigger. Anyway, um, what else do I need? I think I might get a knitting or a little knitting setup. like little Ash would be into knitting because once again she's a maker so I feel like she would kind of make a little bit of everything which isn't a bad thing I think it's quite cool because then like your house is full of homemade stuff and you know obviously that's ideal um I think this is the best one so we have some really cute colors I don't know, they have some really adorable colors. Maybe like that, put it in the living room. I'm gonna make the couch white though so it actually like matches. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of that, no one needs that. <laughs> Okay, and then let's get our little knitting bag. Adorable. Jeez. All of this stuff just has some cute freaking, like, color swatches. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. And then, is there anything else I need? Maybe a camera? Not like a like expensive one, but like, oh wait, no, they're gonna need a laptop. Probably should have thought of that. <laughs> they're really gonna need a laptop though, for university especially. Um, where am I gonna put it? Um, the laptops are only a thousand, which 
I'm just gonna bye. Let's just get a simple little desk, pop it somewhere. Maybe I don't know, they don't have very much space in this house. I guess I'm putting it in Devin and Kean's room. Get a comfy little chair. There we go. Then get the little laptop. Okay. Pretty much thing, or I think that that's pretty much all the essentials that we're gonna need. Why do we just have lamps in our inventory? Where can I put these lamps? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna sell you. Bye. How much would it cost for new, like, ceiling lights? Because their house looks so dark. Only 50. Hmm. Okay, cool. And they're, like, tiny, too, so you won't even be able to see them. Okay, let's just sell all of these. that's everything we need and I know from experience that those mailbox glitch or, or those mailbox glitch out really bad mailboxes glitch out really bad can't talk so I'm just gonna get them a different mailbox because I don't want to have to go back into build and buy mode all right so Unlike my off-camera game, I actually have money for them to apply to university. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and have the or have Devin apply for some scholarships because we're gonna need all of the scholarship money that we can get. <laughs> so I'm gonna have him apply for pretty much everyone that he could possibly try to get into. Coolio. Already Jamie wants to talk to Devin. They were besties in my off-camera game, so I feel like we need to get on that train again. Okay, so I already had him apply to everything he could possibly be applying to. So there's no other options for him, so therefore I am going to go have him start his acting. have little Jamie. She wants to go over and talk to Kian now. She's such like a little social butterfly. It's so adorable. So I'm gonna have her apply for some scholarships now. Do the same ones that uh, Devin did. What is up with their mailbox? Why does it look like that? There's literally just a hole in their mailbox and the door is just kind of floating. Wow. Alright. Now in my off-camera game, because I only lived in Windenburg for like a day whenever I applied to the Windenburg, uh, or Windenburg Resident Scholarship, they actually did not get that one, but they got the scholarship for all, so hopefully we at least get the scholarship for all one like we did on my off-camera game. So let's get Astrid to stop talking to uh, Kian. 
and have her go ahead and apply for some scholarships as well. Just apply for both of those. And then Kian, don't go very far. Need you next, buddy. And then she's gonna go ahead and apply for universe or yeah. Send in an application for university. I cannot talk. Jeez. Okay. And have her go ahead and get actually let's have her start knitting. I love knitting so much in this game. <laughs> let's have her knit a black and white bear beanie. Kian, get off of the PC and go apply for some scholarships. I just X'd out of it, are you kidding me? <laughs> apply for education for all. and a Windenburg resident, and then apply for universities as well. All right, and he's gonna go run with his chest out because that seems like a very keen thing to do. We're just gonna sit and stare at Astrid. She's just so pretty. <laughs> She's so cute. And she's just doing her little knitting. Oh my god. Holy bejeebus, that was a growl if I've ever heard it. My stomach just growled so loud. <laughs> I doubt that you could hear that on the camera, but if you could, oh my god. Gosh, it sounded like a dragon. Oh, my game glitched. What? Where am I? Oh, found her. <laughs> I love the knitting animation. It's so clean. Like, they literally do every individual row. So cool. <laughs> Let's look a little Devin now, doing his acting. <laughs> what a cutie guy. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, and then Kian and Jamie are outside. Let's go stare at them. <laughs> oh, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, you gotta actually do your work like everyone else. Thank you. <laughs> Tian, he about fell on his face. Whoa. people here. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like Jamie is the... No. Devin is the talker. Which is the same. I'm gonna have him go out to a friendly introduction to both of these guys. Well, guy and girl. He's in the avant-garde, which I feel like I need to get um, Astrid in that club. And then she's in the Paragons. Um, that wasn't the club I was thinking for Devin, which 
thank goodness because I do not like that club. <laughs> the people are too like snobby for me, so. <gasps> Asteroids just buy them. Okay. She made her first beanie. I'm gonna have her add it to the wardrobe and then she needs to go try that on. I need to see her in this beanie. Go plan outfit. Catch. I got more to set your mind than you. What'd you say? Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. My cat is rubbing on the tripod. Smokey, seriously? She's such a nerd. Okay. Where is it? it's adorable I kind of wish that they made beanies like how they I mean I wish they made the beanies like how they are in the actual like picture in the inventory like more lifelike I guess more baggy and like not perfect that's why I like um if I can find it <laughs> That is why I, I, that is why I like, oops, just a button, this beanie as much as I do because it's a lot more baggy and that's what I like about it. So yeah. Anyway, had to try that freaking beanie on her, like had to. Welcome wagons here. All right. <clears throat> this guy is in the good timers and the spin masters. And this girl is in the garden gnomes. Ooh, that would be a cool one for Jamie too. She really needs to get in the garden gnomes. Speaking of garden gnomes, I'm gonna have her run around and just look for any uh, blooming plants. Those mushrooms aren't. What is that? Is that a bird? I can't really tell. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of trees, like, just hanging out somewhere that are usually covered in stuff to collect. I just have to figure out where they are. Where are they? I'm giving myself motion sickness. Does have anything? No. I have 
no idea where those trees are. I literally just went to them in my off-camera game like yesterday. Where are they? <laughs> Hold on, I just need to like get on ground level because it's easier to find them like that, which is really annoying, but you know. Oh, that's a really cute spot. Oh my god, someone needs to get engaged there. That is so gorgeous. Okay, I feel like they were around here. Where are they? It was like kind of a clear area too, like, do they just not exist in this world or am I just losing my mind? Cause it could be either. Literally, where are the trees? Wait. That's them! They're just not grown yet. Cool. I literally knew that I had seen them. here and socialize with this lady who's in the garden gnomes. I feel like that's kind of essential. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If y'all enjoyed, please hit the like button down below and comment what you liked about it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>